Good morning, everyone. It's Elena with All Things by Faith. Um, I have a few minutes here in the middle of my day uh, sitting at an appointment I'm waiting to go into because we're not allowed to go in the waiting room and sit. So whatever, that's fine. Um, I just, I wanted to share something really quick. This, this shouldn't be a long video. Um, basically, this morning, um, I started hearing the song by Gavin DeGraw. I don't want to be and I'm gonna put the link below um, but I listened to it a few times and and I understood kind of what they wanted me to talk about and it's, it's kind of personal stuff but I'm gonna put it out there because I feel like it might help someone so first of all I know that many of my viewers and stuff think that I'm really brave and that you know this and that and that I can just stand up to anything and I just want you to know that for like the last 12 years of my life prior to the last two um, I was brave in some respects but I lost that little by little over a 12 year period in my in my last marriage and um, and I lost my authentic self and I, I think that's the message they were trying to give in this song this morning was that it's really important to be in your authenticity and to be your authentic self. Um, Heavenly Father loves us just the way we are, even with our sins, because let's face it, we all have stuff we can do better. But I think where we run into problems is when we start people pleasing. We start worrying about what society or family members or boyfriends or girlfriends or husbands or wives or children or parents or whatever think. And we're not being our authentic self when we do that. We're, we're just not. And it gets us into a lot of emotional problems. It can over time if it goes unchecked. And um, right now with the state of the world and everything that's coming, it is super important that we are our authentic selves. Um, because we're going to need to be in our authenticity to stand up and to make the decisions, the life-preserving decisions, not only for ourselves but for others. Um, with what's coming down the pike at us. So, um, so, you know, I, I was in this relationship where, um, I just, I was never good enough. I was never thin enough. I was never young enough. I never looked good enough. And I had a lot of health issues, you know, and, um, you know, I always had this threat hanging over my head that the person was going to leave me and find somebody, you know, find a, a younger, newer, um, better model, so to speak, than me. And that's pretty much what happened, but not better than me. But, um, cause nobody's better than anybody. I'm not saying I'm better than the person he's with cause nobody's better than anybody. And I'm not even better than him, but I have learned a lot I've learned a lot and I, and I don't even talk to him anymore. It's been two years since he's really been out of my energy and, and away from me. But, um, but it's really important to be in your authenticity. Um, by myself not being in my authenticity, authenticity, when I tried to be my authentic self sporadically, you know, people just looked at me like I was being controlling or I was being, um, you know, angry or I wasn't a nice person. And it's because I was continuously stressed out and scared over people seeing, you know, the reality of what I was living. And, um, and I was also stressed out and scared over, you know, not living up to what I should be living up to at church or all these things, you know, and, and, uh, mostly I think I was really codependent which is funny because I was codependent on somebody that was way more dependent on me, like mentally, spiritually, financially, like they had a lot of mental health issues and it was hard for them to hold a job. So, um, and, and now that I've been two years, you know, on my own and doing just fine, um, and the Lord has really helped me. Like, I'm not saying I did it on my own because I didn't, the Lord definitely helped me. But my point is, it's just letting go of that fear energy. And, you know, I'm still doing a lot of inner wound healing. And I, I think a lot of my viewers are too. And 
I'm not saying you should stand up to people in war with them and fight with them, like in your surroundings, like in your family and stuff. But just become more observant of your actions and reactions to things. And just, you know, really think about what's important to you. And um, I'm not telling anybody to leave the church or anything like that either. But I'm saying be more authentic. Don't be part of the herd in whatever church you belong to. Be more authentic in the things that you believe. And I believe in our authenticity is where we're going to find that that partner. Like, I am no longer, you know, trying to find somebody that fits all the little boxes and checks off all the little things that I need them to be. I just need them to love me and have unconditional love for me. And I will have that same unconditional love for them, regardless of their issues, just like, you know, I hope they can do with me. And, um, and I'm trying to be that way um, and be authentically that person as far as all of humanity, you know? Um, and I think, I think that is the closest thing to Christ-like love we can ever come to, really, isn't it? You know? So, it's a good song. Um, I'm sure it'll give a lot of you your own messages if you choose to listen to it. And, um, just wanted to share this quick message. I hope you all have a great day. And, yeah. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.